need a rebuild rescue guy? Oh no. Welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. This episode is brought to you by Simply Safe. This isn't a boat. This is a freaking yacht. I'd like to introduce today's episode sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe protects your home, or in our case, our hangar, 24/7. One of the reasons we chose Simply Safe is we have a lot of money sitting around this hangar in airplanes. And the last thing that I want is somebody getting in here and messing around with all this stuff. This stuff, including the 401, is so important to me just like I know it's important to you guys. So we installed Simply Safe. Now we have video monitoring, we have glass break sensors, we have entry door sensors. So we know 24 seven, if anybody comes in here and messes with our airplanes, it gives me peace of mind knowing that when I'm away, everything here is secure. Just like I want you guys to have peace of mind at your homes, at your garages, or maybe your hangars or businesses. Simply Safe is peace of mind. One of the options I really liked with the Simply Safe is the outdoor camera with the built in spotlight. We actually installed it here in the hangar because the hangar is so big, it was the perfect camera to capture the whole thing. And with the spotlight, we get peace of mind because as people come in and out of the hangar, they know that we're protected by Simply Safe. One of the other options we really like is the smoke detector that's built into the whole system. So if there's any threat of fire here, we're protected, we get notified. With the 24 seven coverage, the fire departments, EMS, and police get notified as well. And the whole system can be operated right here from your keypad and from your phone. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month absolutely free. So guys, visit simplysafe.com slash rebuild rescue to learn more about how you can protect yourselves and your family. Don't forget, a portion of the proceeds from our advertisers goes directly to Rebuild Rescue Charities to do great things 
in your communities. Is this it? you Tim Gentry? Dude, can I pull your boat? Absolutely. Can we wrap time? How's it going, Tim? What's up, brother? What do you think? I think this guy would have been cooler. Yeah, I think you might this have switched. This might be safer. This guy would have been cooler. <laughs> <laughs> we at least done rolling burnouts with this guy. Yeah, right. All those ride burnouts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, bud, how are you? Good morning. <laughs> you been shy today? Yesterday was all about him on the airplanes. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna uh, talk to the to uh, to the guy here, and I believe he's gonna take that set up there, go back in the yard. It yep. splits. I think that trailer splits and then comes in and it picks does. it up. Yep. And then I think the idea was, you know, it'll get floated, and, we just... and then if we back in, scoop her up and go. So are we gonna make this thing run today, or are you gonna wait till Monday? <laughs> well, <clears throat> so. I think we need a little bit more time. You'd have to like come back up for that. Yeah. <laughs> so the one thing I completely forgot about until I was reminded this morning is my daughter has prom tonight. Oh, so I got to can't miss that. I got to yeah, I can't miss that. Um, so Sam was nice enough to fly us down. Yep. Tim, Sam, Sam, Hi, Tim. Tim. How Sam are you? Miss Sam. <laughs> and you, you are. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll get in here and. Uh, Get in here, talk to him, get stuff set up, and uh, see if we can't get this thing floated. Get it on the trailer. I did bring some tools with today because the the bunks aren't set right. Yeah. I'd never set bunks up for a for a drive like that. Uh, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. That trailer should handle it pretty well. Yeah, so. triax. I think it's twenty one thousand pound trailer. Yeah. So we're good. All yeah, right. You, you probably got a fifteen thousand pound boat. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think it's like 12, 12, yeah. 5, 15. All right. where the trailer is, I have no idea. There's the trailer, it's on the very end there. I'm gonna call the truck in. Oh, there he is. Hey, bring the truck! Yeah, it's right here. Oh, it's even better. The one thing that, that I was looking at is <clears throat> probably pull this, pull this tire off so we can slide this all the way front uh, lengthwise. How long is your boat? Well, it's a it's it's a cruiser 33, but I think. It's at 34. Yeah. yeah 34. Um, I'm gonna say that we're probably in good shape. Well, I gotta say you did pick the right trailer. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah, I think it should sit right on here. I think it ended up being pretty much perfect because I think these are 7,000 pound axles. Yeah, they are. You know, three uh, three seven thousands. I mean should be so it ain't gonna be overweight on it it's not gonna be you know it's gonna be just enough really yeah so during boat season where we pull these size of boats like this is what I put behind my trucks yeah oh nice perfect well right over there's the boat uh, I, I, I do have uh, some tip measures so we have to measure the bumps yeah as far as width uh, you know based on the drives and stuff like that I would say it's probably gonna sit down on there pretty good as uh, it's probably gonna sit a little high, but we can lower it down if we have to. Um, our truck just made it. Yeah, I'm trying to get DOT to make an exception to get him to get his license a 10. Yeah. He's about to turn 10, so. Yeah. I watch this. He'll hook this up by himself. He won't even need it. Rags, drop your airbags. That's almost, that's almost like cheating. <laughs> All right, when you start it up, come back quick. Remember, they'll come right back up. Hurry, 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 hurry. It's coming up too fast. Your 
Why did you put it in reverse? Just like that, I met a 10 year old that's better at hooking trailers up and backing up the trailers than I am. And here comes Sam saving us with coffee and Energy, hot dude. chocolate. Yeah. Hot cocoa. <laughs> All right. Get him fired up. Hey, Matt. Yes. Just one regular cream of sugar. Thank you. There's a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. What's that? You got it pretty solid after a boat. Really? Yeah. Ninety percent of the boats I pull is that. Really? I'm gonna style that. That up. Yeah, them caddy, them, you go, dude. you know, caddy, cubby cruisers are. Thank you for running, Sam. No, no problem. See, only thing I, the only thing I see that it needs is two awesome diesel motors or two supercharged. You know, V8s. Diesels would be cool. Yeah. Two five nine Cummins in there. Oh my cool. gosh, yeah. Some big turbos. The plan is to fix it up, cruise it all the way down intercoastal, out in the ocean, some over the Bahamas and then back to Florida. And then we want to auction it off and you know give all that money to charity. I think you're gonna fall in love with the boat. That's gonna be hard to do. Well, you know, there's a, there's a couple things I have fallen in love with and, and uh, that I'm actually gonna be letting go of in the next couple months. Even like Stubby, my, my truck, my international oh, truck. Yeah, I'm gonna sell Stubby, no. we're donating it. If any of you guys um, have any charities, that you really, uh, you really like, you really feel like should be a part of Rebuild Rescue. Change your um, time, change your time. That we would, yeah, <laughs> that we would work with and or donate money at different times. I mean, that's what we're about. That's what Rebuild Rescue Charities is about. It's just about helping people, helping charities. Um, so I'd really like to know what charity talks to you guys. You know, which ones you support, which ones you'd like to see us support. Put a post in the comments below and and let us know. This thing's gonna clean up so nice. So Larry, Ammo NYC, if you're watching, you gotta come down and help me out with this. <laughs> I can't wait to see you go down the Unicosa. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, uh, right now, I mean, unless something pops up about it that I, that I haven't seen, I think we're gonna be able to fix it and clean it up really well, redo some of the upholstery. And, Let's call uh, on the other side, made me a little nervous. Um, yeah. I think it's okay. I think it's good. I think it's just this runoff from here. Yeah, I think it might be, um, might be gas and oil coming down. Yeah. That we'll probably have to grab the car pretty quick. I'm sure he'll be ready to go. I'm not sure where we're going or how close it is.
Who's going swimming? Uh, I'm hoping we can get out there. You want me to hold that or run the hook back or what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, if you want to push the, I'll, if, so we'll get it up to the trailer and then uh, I can get the hook. Um, it's up to you, it don't matter. You want to pull it up to me? And then, Once we get it out of the water, we can move this back and then lock it down with it. What do you think, Sam? Right now, all you need to do is hold it on. You're not going off and on. I would just use a shackle. Yeah. I'm going to come on out and see so what it is. It's sitting back pretty far. I mean, it's probably going to ride. Okay. Back it, back it, and pull the boat on the floor. And what we'll do is we'll ratchet straight the front of the trailer instead of having that. Would you get this boat coming up here? Drop for it. Yeah, my boat would be losing these things here. Drop this down here. It'll bring forward this way, but this would be down here. Yeah. Like, this would be, like, right here. I guess once it's out of the water, we're not moving in front at all. Right. Once it's in, out of the water, I've got extra straps. I'm going to strap the crap out of it. Yeah. Hey, this is actually a pretty good idea there, Mr. Free Go Rescue Guy. Well, I know a thing or two about a thing or two. Now, if this totally fails, then it wasn't my idea, though. <laughs> Raxon? So I think if we leave this thing a little loose, because as we go down the water, it's going to be going yeah. all kinds of stuff. If we back in pretty deep and just get this up on here, we've got about another foot and a half that we're going to get the weight front. I think it's going to be. I think that's our best bet to get because it needs to come front a good bit. Yeah. All right, we got some straps. A lot better shape than we were five seconds ago. Have to cut that bad boy off there, huh? Yep, yeah, you got a knife. Oh man, cutting the strap. Oh, no. I hate these straps anyway. I hate the ends. So these hook into a trailer inside of it, like a dry box? Yeah. You never use them? No. Nah. I ended up just putting hooks in mine. Yeah. Well, might be going swimming here. Right, thanks, bro. It's gonna work. It's feel good. Is this gonna work? Am I gonna end up in the water, or is the boat just gonna like kind of float out into the bay? Or is the strap gonna break and hit you in the face? Or is the... I don't like that. I don't <laughs> like that idea, but that could happen. Am I gonna get maimed by a strap? Pause the video. Put some in the comments. What's gonna happen?
is is once we if it's not up against there once we pull out the the the, the bow is going to rise up yeah. and i think it's going to snap that uh, whatever we have hooked to it you know what i mean i'd be worried about that strap right there that connection that's what's going to go well all of them will yeah well and the, the truck's going to articulate oh. you know what i mean uh, like if we tighten that yellow strap up it's just going to break it But I think if we back in and get this strap, strap tight, I think it'd be good to pull it out of the water. Let me break that strap loose. I okay. think that's what's keeping us from pulling it out. Holy crap, my legs are going numb. Actually, you just have to have it like on top of that thing. Yeah. If you go down, I think, like three more feet, I think it'll come right into it. Let me go ahead and tighten this up. Here. Yeah, if you have that right there, and I'll tighten up quick as you back in, I think I think it'll be good. Or even if we put some tension on there, I'll just pull this thing, and it should pull it on. Once it's up there, and yeah. you feel like it's straight on the trailer, okay. let me know and I'll start easing out. Okay. Keep coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right, the yep. only thing, the only thing that's going to happen is this, uh, the strap's going to, this strap's going to loosen up or tighten up depending on the angle of the truck. I need to tighten up. The boat's in a pretty good spot to sit. Feel like. That's in about as good a spot as it's going to get on this trailer. All right. Yeah. You ready for this? I think I am. I'm just, uh, I'm going to stand up so instead of this thing hitting me in the face and it breaks, it hits me. <laughs> So my voice might be a little bit higher in a few seconds for the rest of my life, but uh... Hey guys, welcome back to Rebuild Rescue! <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it's sitting better. More weight on the front. Yeah, it's sitting right on the trailer. All right, so let's. Uh, Man, if that thing would come forward another, well, a foot or two. I think. It let's will. get it on level ground. I think it will. We just need level ground. Look at the tires of the trailer. the other side looking. That one there is still low. That's the 
them off. They started going. Uh, I think if we get all the others up, maybe we can get that one up then. We're definitely going to have to. Uh, uh, which I'm assuming you're going to have to go soon, huh? I do. How soon? That was now. now. Twelve forty right now. Um, and remember, I can handle it from here. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna move it as far forward as I can. Okay. And then I'm gonna reload it, pull it forward. I'll get the tires up, get it flagged, all that stuff. Just, like pulling that thing, like another foot until we hit the the uh, uh, prop. A little bit bigger than I, I thought. <laughs> Yeah, it goes good. <laughs> yeah, no, and that's why so many of the uh, viewers were like, "That's not a yacht." Hey, it says it's a yacht. Hey. It's a yacht. Hey, it says it's a yacht there. It says it's a yacht on the inside, and this trailer tire it says it's a yacht. Says it's a yacht, and the truck as it spun its tires up the ramp says it's a yacht. Oh, the truck <laughs> definitely told me it was a yacht. That's a yacht of things. That was really corny. <laughs> it's a yacht. <laughs> if Tim says it's a mini yacht, it's a yacht. <laughs> Oh, now it's a mini yacht. I see how it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the term mini yacht. <laughs> this is the boat your girl said not to worry about. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Exactly what this boat is. What I'm probably going to do is, um, after you guys leave and go to your daughter's prom, and I don't have to give you an anxiety attack, um, I'm going to bag it back in the water and load it up. It's kind of my forte sometimes. Mm. Sometimes it goes wrong. Sometimes... You don't want the customer there. <laughs> I get it. I mean, I have been in some sketchy situations. All you gotta do is go over to Gentry and Sons YouTube channel and find out. And find out, right? <laughs> well, there might have been one or two times we've been in a sketchy situation before, so I'm really familiar with that. And I could appreciate that. I, oh man, I mean, we were like meant to come together somehow. I don't know how it works out, but are you going? Are you are you guys good? We're good. I hate leaving, but no, I, I got to get to my daughter's prom. So, I mean, uh, worst case in the world, leave it somewhere and we'll figure something else out. Yeah, or we can fly back. Should be no problem. It should be fine. Um, if something happens, turns into a situation. And yeah, just let us know. I don't have a truck, trailer, and a boat anymore. Yeah, yeah, we'll give you a ride. We'll pick you up. Okay. We'll, we'll Uber Uber to the airport. We'll pick you up. Who's in charge? <laughs> yeah, let me you give you a release to sign real quick. Right, right. All, right. All right, brother. I'll call you yep. when we land and check on you. If you need anything, just call. We'll, we'll be back. Cool. We should be all right. But if we're not, I'll let you know. For sure. Absolutely. Cord prop.
daughter's problem. You made it! Man, all I have to say is holy boat. <laughs> holy boat. <laughs> Man. Man, I can't believe you guys made it up here. Holy crap, that was a trip and a half. So I don't even know, I, I, you know, you guys saw that we had to take off because I had to go to my daughter's prom. I had to see her off and Tim knew about it and, and I felt bad, I was gonna stay. And Tim, oh, Tim kept telling me, he's like, he's like, he's like, no, he's like, you got to go. I got it. This is right after we broke straps. The tire the blew out. <laughs> the, the boat's rocking back and forth, and he's telling me to go. I got my nine-year-old in there. It kind of works better by itself. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it was, uh, I mean, this is what we do. I mean, it, at the end of the day, this is, you know. You rebuild and rescue stuff, and I haul boats. Man, I'll so, tell you what. I think that I think that's a pretty good relationship right there. I like is. that. I like it's a great relationship. <laughs> so, so you go find some crap to rebuild and rescue, and I'll go haul it. I am really good at that. I mean, and some of the viewers, they could tell you. Some of them think I'm a little too good at that sometimes. <laughs> but uh, well, I'm but, a viewer, so I agree. <laughs> <laughs> this is huge. Well, this is the first right. time I saw it really out of the water. So. Delivering you a boat. I got a new tire on the trailer. All the lights are working. The, um, it's low to dry. I fixed the bunk pads and all that for it. Sits right. That way, when you get take it back out, because I mean I know this is you know what you're planning on doing this thing. It's a great thing what you're doing, and I support that one thousand percent. So I tried to put all I could into it. Oh, that's so that's so awesome. I was like, I I, I have to admit. I was a little worried. I was a little worried going if you'd make it here or not. I'm not going to explain all what happened. I know what happened, and I just can't believe well, he's here, actually. so It was crazy, I can just say. I can't believe we're here, honestly. One thing I don't like doing a lot is coming across the Bay Bridge, especially with something like this. You just have to go to the channel and see. How wide is this? 10 feet wide? Oh, no. It's like 12, right at 12 foot. Yeah. I mean, this pictures don't do it justice. I mean, well, I guess if you oh, look yeah. at the boat I mean, and yeah, I stand like, here. That but truck, it, that's a big truck, and it like that's a little peanut truck for this boat. I I really thought I was bringing overkill. I'm I thought, why not bring my pickup truck? No, I'm glad I didn't. I can't wait to see what's wrong with it. Oh see man, see if it'll start. I got asked my wife, I'm like, can I please stay till Monday, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see if this thing starts. Uh, you know, don't really know what's wrong with it or what's not wrong with it, but uh, I can tell you now, it's gonna clean up real nice guys so if you do anything for me you got to put down in the comments 12 valve diesels <laughs> oh, no. funny thing is so actually there's a 12 valve diesel right there oh, my on goodness. my trailer it actually looks like somehow it came uncovered so right now it's a waterlogged 12 valve diesel but well that's a high output 12 valve diesel yeah oh wow Alright guys, we got one. <laughs> no, we just need, we just one need more. two. I know a diesel guy. Oh, it's tempting. It's tempting. <laughs> Alright guys, so Tim from Gentry Sons Trucking made it back with the free abandoned yacht. We're going to work on it soon. We're going to get it to... Hey Tim, that's a nice shirt you got on that's there. That's my 401 that's... Forever, baby. All oh, right, hey, get some merch. Get some merch from us. Definitely need to get some. This is actually, so I was freezing cold just a second ago. This shirt just pretty much saved my life. All right, all right. So it's definitely sure. worth... I mean, I hauled a boat for it, but you, know, you guys can just go on the website and get yours. Hey, and 
there was a whole bunch of stuff that went down from the last time that we were in the airplane coming back to the time that Tim got here. Uh, lots of hours, lots of stuff going on. Check out his video so you can see the adventure. I'm not going to talk about it right now. Go to his <laughs> go to his YouTube and check it out. There'll be a link down below. Awesome guy. Awesome videos. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for coming along and you know joining in the fun. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. You know what to do. Throw some comments down the bottom. You're definitely going to enjoy. This is not it's not work anymore. This is all fun. This is fun. This is, fun. This is We've fun. Had a good time this week. Awesome, brother. So, let's get out of here. Let's, let's get out of here. <laughs>